good morning YouTube it's your guy Sergeant Alexander 158 of the Master Assassins and uh, of course you see that I'm in uniform so I must throw off this disclaimer that anything I do say in uh, the YouTube community has nothing to do with the military let's get that straight let's get that clear right now uh, like I say yes I'm in the military I'm a full time soldier but anything I say and do about YouTube is has nothing to do with the military I'm strictly doing YouTube for my own pleasures and on my own time uh, so this has nothing to do with military so uh, with that being said I appreciate all the support all the likes all the views of my videos um, and I would I'd like for you guys to keep keep that going keep that keep that energy uh, as I grow in my YouTube career um, so go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you are not and uh, let's just get right into the meat and potatoes of my video so a nerf raid is coming uh, I'll say again a nerf raid is coming just because console players have not been able to complete the raid with the success of uh, PC players PC players are completing the raid in the in the in an average time right now of about 23 minutes 23 minutes is the going raid time for for if you're on PC so as of today there has been a new console time of two hours 52 minutes this morning or this afternoon depending on where you are uh, that someone has completed the raid or a raid team has completed the raid in two hours and 52 minutes uh, this was reported by epic slayers first who uh, shout out to those guys for getting the getting the uh, information and putting it out to the communities and uh, if people have not subscribed to them i probably would suggest you do so uh, but they do put out good information. So shout out to Epic Slayers for being, you know, uh, Johnny on the spot with that news and information. Um, with that being said, uh, I guess there's someone from Massive or a developer from Massive has said that changes to the raid are coming. Um, and they said that these changes have been thought about coming since the raid's release. Uh, that it's been a little challenging on, on the uh, console. Um, and I just go ahead and say it like I've been saying it. I don't think there should be a nerf to the raid. I, I like the raid the way it is. Um, I, I, I say it every day when I get on and, and I raid a lot with uh, guys, Red Dot Society. I raid with my own clan, the Mass Assassin's clan. Um, I just say you have to be raid ready. There's no sense of going into the raid and playing the raid if you not have if you have not farmed enough to build your build to uh, to go into the raid and and put yourself in a position to be successful. You know what I'm saying? Uh, failing to plan is planning for failure. You know what I'm saying? That that it is it, it gets no no simpler than that. It gets no more straightforward than that no more cut and dry than that um you know you just have to be raid ready you have to farm you have to get your build to a point where it's raid ready uh we had a discussion yesterday with some guys from red, red dot society as we played played the raid and we constantly get boomer down below the shield mark and we just we just came to the conclusion that you know we need to look at each other's build we need to help those who don't have a build with two to three thousand deep i mean two to three million dps and anything less than 83 to a hundred percent damage to elites is not going to get it that's 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 just flat out from what i've seen experience everybody that i've played with has no less than 85 83 to 100 percent damage to elites and they're doing two to three million in damage that's flat out all eight players have to be doing that now you can get some that may get away one or two that may it get away with it if they're running a skill build and they're trying to heal i think you know um and and after that that's when communication comes in so those are my top three things that have to be done to consider yourself raid ready you have to have minimum 85 percent 
damage to elites. Minimum 85%. If you're not knocking down 85%, max 100 plus percent uh, damage to elites on your build and doing two to three million in damage, you're not going to beat the raid. Period. You're not going to beat the raid. Uh, and communication. You have to have a good eight-man group the best of the best of your eight-man team that you communicate well with. If you do not have that, you are not going to beat the raid. I don't care if it's on Xbox, console, PC. I don't give a damn how you play the raid. If you don't have those three things, you are not going to. You're not going to get past Boomer. You're not. Your 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 squad, your your clan will fall apart. And that's what I like about the raid that it's that challenging that it's it's built it, it's it's building the players it's making players come together I, i've never been so close with with my with my mass assassins clan and I, I appreciate those guys and the girls that play in my clan and that we had four new players join us last night and just from doing the raid it was that tough that it just became a laughing point you know that it was just hey look we know what we got to do we're gonna fuck around here for a couple hours and just get the mechanics down, get the get the communication down, and from there we'll spend two to three days or whatever the case may be into building their their builds. You know, Jasimian said it too. I follow Jasimian, great guy. Uh, shout out to Jasimian for putting out what he puts out um, and spending the time that he spends and and. You know, just being the guy that he is and putting out the, the, the content that he puts out. So shout out to Jasimian if you guys aren't following Jasimian's page. De definitely check out uh, Jasimian. Um, he's one of the, follow the guys that I follow that's inspired me to uh, get into uh, YouTubing and, and putting out content about video games. So, um, and congratulations on, on his sponsorship. You know, he just, he just got his first sponsorship uh, a couple days ago. So... Hey man, he's he's doing great stuff out there in in the community and in the YouTube world. So once again, shout out to uh, to Simeon for for being the guy that he is, man. But he said it best, and he said it first that you know you have to put your all into it, but you also have to know when to take a break, know when to say when from getting into the raids and doing this YouTube and 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 that. Uh, this raid is a killer, man. This raid will break you down. It will break your squad down. Um, and it's not about being first. You know, that's one of the other things that Jasimian said. It's not about being first. And I think that's what a lot of teams are getting hung up on is they got to be first or they got to be next. Just focus on getting raid ready is what I say every day, every time I get ready to play the raid or I get on the division. Just make sure you're ready for whatever event you're going to be doing. Whether it's the dark zone, whether it's the raid, whether it's an invasion. Just make sure your build is ready for it. You know, you got loadouts for a reason. Put that loadout to a side. If that's the loadout that's helping you, then build on that loadout. You know, find out what type of player you're going to be, what type of character and agent you need to put together. And then go from there with it, you know. Um... I can't stress it enough. You got to be raid ready. But that's not the beat potatoes of this, this this video and this thread. It's that the fact that there is a raid nerf coming. Uh, like I say, console players have been playing the raid. The first console player beat the raid in 36 hours. That's amazing. 36 fucking hours. That is a long time to dedicate that much time to one section of the video game. 36 hours. After that, the next player's... And the next team beat the raid in 19 hours. And again, as today, I said someone today completed the raid in 2 hours, 52 minutes on console. They did not say if it was PlayStation or Xbox. Um, but that's still a lot of time. That's that's a drastic drop. So that's very impressive. And shout out to those guys, whoever they are, wherever they are, that you were able to complete the raid in 2 hours, 52 minutes. That's that's awesome. Um, and, and I say I like the raid the way it is and i don't think the devs should take anything away from the raid i think they should look at the tu3 update and maybe do a tu3.2 update give us more 
don't take more from the raid give us more give us more armor give us more damage more uh more weapon damage give us more gear that has the roles that we need to complete the raid that's what i'm uh proposing you know that that's my compromise to to the raid don't take nothing away from it um and if you do take very little you know maybe take out a few of the npcs because the ads are are horrible when they spawn after you take boomer down to a knee those ads that come out are just insane um but with all that being said it's been proven time and time again that the raid can be beat you know on console it's only been a few times but that's time enough that's once is enough to, to give everybody hope that this raid can be beat and every time someone beat it it's been better it hasn't been longer no one has taken 37 hours to beat the raid so that's good that every time someone beats the raid that it, the time frame has went down now two hours and 52 minutes is the mark that's the mark that's the goal that's everybody's new challenge but like i say with the raid nerf that's going to be coming out i suggest taking away from the ads that come out and giving us more improve the drop rate with better uh rolls on the gear you know give us more guard rolls as far as raid raid builds go give us a raid build shit you know what i'm saying do something that gives the player a little bit more of an advantage or a little bit more uh assistance and 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 getting further in the raid i wouldn't say change the raid you know don't make boomer any less difficult than what he is now if you want to do something to the raid take out the damn the ads that spawn you know have them don't spawn so many you know or uh take out the pulse uh that 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 kills you from the uh from the healers you know the jammer the little pulse jammer that they threw out numb that down you know what i'm saying but don't take away from from the raid too much you know like i say give people more more gear with more 30 uh percent damage to elites or in more seven percent weapon damage gear you know give us gear with the rolls to to put together to beat the raid and that's and, and that like i say goes to what i say all the time every day all day when it comes to the division two and especially right now to the raid make people farm and get raid ready put more gear out there that's going to be raid ready boost the exotics more make the exotics more raid ready you know though with those weapons are supposed to be exotics and in the game for a reason make them exotics that they should be make them the exotics that they should be make that classified gear that true patriot and that damn uh ongoing directive make that the gear that it should be make it stronger than the regular gear that you get in the open world you know make that gear what it is hardwired gear if someone has a hardwired bill push that shit make that shit that, that with that hardwired that ongoing directive that true patriot that should be the build you know unless you, there's a, a good high-end gold build out there which uh like i say again epic slayers red dot society i got a buddy named canes and and ghost leo ghost finch uh gigantor those guys uh jessimian uh there's one more guy i'm forgetting this three cray three tray uh those guys man put out good bills and good information about bills so if you don't have a good bill hey get with somebody in red dot society get with somebody in the mass assassins clan uh that can put a bill together or show you how to put a bill together um there there we have a discord you know look at what we have that's posted and find our discord page and look into it and see what um what information is out there um like i said i can't stress enough how red dot society has been you know clutch for me and my clan you know they help us out every day you know that since division one so um like I say, and I, I like I said, I'll continue to say it. I'll beat this dead horse till there's nothing left, left but dust and flies, if that's what it takes. But uh, you have to be raid ready. 
that's just it in a nutshell. That's the bottom line. There's nothing else. You have to be raid ready when it comes to playing the raid. You know, you can't just go in there half ass and say, hey, I just want to do the raid and see what it's like. You're going to see what it's like. You're going to get your ass thumped and you're going to come out of there scratching your head, dazed, lost, and confused, and you're going to mass junk everything in your in your stash and in your inventory. Don't do that. I do not do that because there are some pieces that uh, that are worth keeping. So don't just get mad and rage quit because you went into the raid not raid ready and you got your ass spanked and you came out of there mad with your clan and you disbanded your clan and, and broke up a friendship over the raid and you didn't take your, the time to do your due diligence and farm like you were fucking supposed to. So if your clan is breaking up and your team is falling apart, that's your own fucking fault because you didn't take the time to farm and get raid ready and you didn't play enough. Now, like just Simeon said, you got to know when to say when, you know, um, you got to know when to call it quits for the day or for a few days and go back to the drawing board and, and redo your build. That's just it. It's nothing more than that. That's just it. Um, like I say, the Red Dot Society, we, we got to that point yesterday. Them guys had been playing the raid for six hours before I joined, and I think I helped them out for another hour and a half to three hours, maybe. And it just came to a point where we had got to where we hit our ceiling in the raid. We could not get him past two bars below the shield. That was our stopping point. Once we got Boomer down two bars below the shield, that was it. We couldn't go any further. So we got to a point where we, hey, let's take a break. Let's go eat dinner. Let's go watch the baseball game. Everybody take a break. We'll meet up in two hours. We'll come back and we'll rethink this thing and we'll give it another go. You have to do that. That is vital to uh, your clan staying together. That is vital to your guys staying together. Uh, you know, and, and another guy that was with us with Red Dot Society suggested doing three sustains and uh, three positive and three negatives of what you got out of completing the raid, you know. And then from there, you knew what you needed to do to your build, to the mechanics of the way you played the raid, um, who did what in the raid. So, you know, that that's a lot that goes into being raid ready. But number one thing is making sure you have the numbers that you're dishing out as far as damage, weapon damage and damage to elites to beat the raid. You know, so so that's that's that, man. So this is uh, Master Assassin's... Uh, clan sergeant alexander 158 just just putting out some more information about the raids and and what it is man and just my humble opinion of what i think about the raids and the nerf that is coming to the raids and like i say once again I'll, I'll shoot those numbers off and and then i'm gonna i'm gonna hop off for the day oh, man that sun is is killing it this morning um so i apologize to anybody who can't who can't see me now at this point uh, I may just have to redo this video, but man, so once again, uh, console players today, this morning, someone has beaten the raid in two hours, 52 minutes. There will be a nerf to the raid. Uh, it is coming. I don't know how soon, but there will be undoubtedly a, a nerf coming to the raid. Um, like I say, the first console players uh, completed the raid in 36 hours. After that, the next team of raid players defeated the, the raid in 19 hours and now today hot off the press someone has completed the raid in two hours 52 minutes um and there is a for sure nerf coming to the raid uh, epic slayers were the first to uh put this information out and bring it to uh fruition that this is going to happen and that uh just expect a nerf coming to the raid but like i say this is Sergeant alexander 158 of the mass assassins i say do not nerf the raid i say give us more more roles and gear to help us complete the raid um and that's it man like i say continue to farm continue to get yourself raid ready you will not beat the raid if you're not raid ready so just be looking out for that 
that new update or maintenance or something that's going to be coming at some point in some time, a nerf to the raid is coming. 